let's go after let's go after what I would go after in terms of progressing someone again through the sling matrix through the on wall progressions right here uh, closed kinetic chain style with our FMR and with the individual themselves kind of driving through that I'm going to take you through what I would then kind of start to progress kind of patience with um, and that would be a little uh, a little pendy swing uh, a little pivot lunge pendy swing matrix so let's let's still say we're we're talking about the left shoulder pathology right now. So we'll go a little sagittal plane lunge. And my left arm is basically holding on. I might be doing a little work, but the right arm is driving and facilitating my motion right here to give me this posterior rotation and anterior rotation. This, when I come on up to the top right here, this protraction, this abduction, this kind of upward rotation, maybe this uh, this lateral glide with this posterior tilt, which is really um, uh, going after loading the bicep to posteriorly kind of rotate. And now if I want to go and head into the frontal plane here with my frontal plane pivot lunge matrix. <coughs> I will be kind of teeter-tottering this upward and downward rotation to give me this shoulder abduction, but then to load the adduction. So on the sagittal plane, flexion right here, but then loading back into shoulder extension. So getting the motion is important. So again, that right arm is really going to be driving this. <clears throat> to in this position to get the upward rotation, the posterior, uh, the posterior tilt, get a little extra rotation there as well. With my with my transverse plane pivot lunge matrix right here, the right arm is helping to load retraction of the scapula. So retraction of the scapula and external rotation, therefore of the shoulder and so I'm going into it I'm kind of maybe shorting it with the internal rotation the protraction right here and then being able to load out of it load in and then load out we can also analyze it if we want to so we know that it's going to decelerate kind of the pronation of the uh, the forearm complex as well, we could just kind of go palm down in the transverse plane right here. Palm down in the transverse plane. Those are some guys that I will uh, typically go after um, uh, quickly and soon after kind of the rehab process begins after post after wall work. Um, I'll then head on into um, some little pendy swings with the arm right here. And so what I'll, what I'll typically do to enable me to get a little more shoulder extension right here on the load, I'll take advantage of uh, my hip mobility. So loading the hip flexion here so that I can get extension while I'm driving the shoulder flexion, help kind of protect that shoulder a little bit. Help protect the shoulder a little bit. And if I want to, I can add an opposite side kind of contralateral driver to load a little bit more out of sync motion to get that thoracic spine going get a little more maybe a little more t-spine mobility get this anterior rotation of the of the scapula uh, with uh, with this extension as i come on up i'm going after kind of this posterior tilt this upward rotation and this kind of this superior uh, kind of glide right here. Boom, and boom. And what I'll do then in the frontal plane, I'll take advantage of using this left hip and I can use the lunge the same. I'll typically go with a single leg toe touchdown. Take advantage of getting some decelerating hip abduction with the shoulder adduction to drive the adduction right here at the left hip to 
give me shoulder abduction with that produced upward rotation and protraction as I'm loading adduction and retraction. Um, and boom, boom, and boom, and then transverse plane, the same. Boom. So I can go, I'll go here to here. So I'll load kind of out of sync first. So I'll load the bicep with external rotation and retraction of the scapula. And then I'll swing on out. So I use that internal rotation of the left hip to give me an external rotation. We'll also use a fair amount of quadruped uh, like stuff and bands hooked up, which we'll, uh, we'll get to in another episode and which will a lot of times be superior to the elbow or inferior to the elbow and a fixated external internal uh, rotated position. On the wall, some closed kinetic chain like stuff that I like to use on the wall, taking advantage of, and I see, I think you all can see me right here. Actually, let's see if, uh, let's see if the old tree, tree works right here. So you can see me, I think that's gonna work pretty good. So an LXX positioning right here, we'll, uh, we'll start with this left upper extremity kind of fixated, maybe shoulder high, and this is post sling matrix. Uh, this is post some FMR on the table. Um, excuse me, with the hand on the table in a prone position, feet supporting the body upright, and then on a wall right here. So if I want to, so when it comes to 3D kind of penny swing matrix right here, although I'm getting shoulder, um, shoulder flexion right here, I'm getting anterior tilt and rotation of the scapula with some superior glide. And here I'm getting some posterior rotation, basically loading that slingshot or that mouse trap back, some inferior glide right here. As I'm creating shoulder, um, some loading and shoulder extension. And so I'm doing that all the while with the right upper extremity. As a driver, frontal plane, side to side plane right here, I'll anchor my left arm straight across from me. And so what I'll do, sagittal plane like lunge position. And as you can see right here, I get shoulder abduction with this left side bend of the, uh, of the thoracic spine. And right here, I'm getting adduction to abduction. So getting some retraction to protraction. Retraction to protraction. Boom, 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 and boom. Transverse plane, um, and we can also like frontal plane right here, kind of take advantage of staying with a, with a face on anchor first. So we'll go straight, um, kind of sagittal plane lunge position while we're facing our hand as an anchor. Uh, for the transverse plane, We'll go with our transverse plane lunges, pivot lunges. So I'll go same side, the opposite, to really drive and load the, the retraction and the external rotation of the shoulder with the, with the protraction, the internal rotation right here, by using the hip as a way to protect everything. And since it's closed kinetic chain, we know that we're gonna have this ginormous amount of compression, congruency, multi-joint approximation, which has given us phenomenal dynamic joint stabilization to help decrease and minimize pain and give us this good solid anchored fit for proximal stability to produce distal, uh, to produce distal mobility. Uh, we'll then head on into a variety of lawnmowers, uh, pressing progressions. It's probably good for this episode right now uh, but something systematically that we will, once a patient is ind independently able to start doing some of this stuff on their own um, at home, uh, something that we'll, uh, we'll jump into for a home exercise program. What I'll typically send the patient right off the bat home to, okay, so they're in their sling. Pretend like my left arm is in a, sl is, is in a sling right here. And so I'm using, I'm using my, 
Again, my right arm as a driver, taking advantage of loading that left hip, flexion with shoulder extension, and then flexion with extension. And so, since it's relative motion, we're getting that motion driven up from the uh, from the bottom up, and then also the top down and over to that extremity. And we'll do similar thing here in that the the uh, the frontal plane, the lateral lunge here with the opposite side frontal plane kind of reach right here is going to be giving us this upward rotation and this downward rotation of the scapula, this retraction, and then also this protraction, this abduction, and adduction as you can feel. So my adduction right here with my protraction, and then my abduction with retraction of the scapula right there. So again, it's relative motion. Play around with those. I hope that further helps your understanding of some slap tears and rehabilitation wise. But we'll jump into it. We've got some more episodes coming uh, with some more uh, like basic acute stuff with an actual patient and uh, building on this uh, with some other activity regimens that's going to help load the scapula thoracic and thoracic spine.